In this tutorial, we will give you a quick overview of the FreeCAD Draft Workbench. While it has other uses, the Draft Workbench is handy for creating traditional two-dimensional drawings. And it should be noted that the drawings can be created on any plane, the XY plane or any plane of your choosing. Furthermore, the draft drawings can be used by other FreeCAD workbenches, like the ARC workbench for creating architectural drawings, the PARC workbench for extruding a 2D drawing into a 3D model, and more. To get started, open FreeCAD. Then click on File, New. Next, open the draft workbench by clicking here and here. Here, along the top, you will see a number of toolbars. And note that these toolbars may be in a different location on your computer as they can be dragged and dropped to any position of your liking. We won't go through every toolbar in this tutorial, but they include the View toolbar right here, the Snap toolbar right here, and the Draft toolbar right here. And note, if you hover over the beginning of a toolbar, for instance right here, a flyout will appear and tell you the name of that toolbar. Likewise, if you hover over a tool on a toolbar, like this Line tool, a flyout will appear and tell you the name of that tool. A couple of other toolbars include the Draft Manipulation toolbar right here and the Draft Utility toolbar right here. Now for a quick illustration, let's set the view to the top view by clicking right here. And let's set the working plane to match by clicking here, and then clicking here. And finally, let's make sure the Snap to Grid is selected and no other snaps are selected. Now to demonstrate how to create a drawing with the Draft Workbench, let's start off with the Line Tool right here. The Line Tool allows you to create a single line with two points, one at the start and one at the end. To use it, click here, and click here, and click here to create a vertical line. Let's create another line now. Select the Line Tool, click here, and click here. Note now for demonstration purposes, we have arranged the two lines to create the shape of the letter L. We'll have more on that later. Next, we will demonstrate how to create a multipoint line, also called a polyline or a wire. To do that, click the tool right here to select it, and then click here for the first point, here for the second point, and here for the third point. Now to terminate the line, we can hit the Escape key, or we can come over here and click on Close. Note now that on the Model tab in the Combo view, right here, that our new multipoint line is called a wire. So when you see Wire on the Model tab, you know it's actually a multipoint line, also known as a polyline. And now note, that our new multipoint line is in the shape of an L. And at first glance, it seems similar to the two lines that we drew a few moments ago. More on that later. And to demonstrate a couple of other tools we have available, let's click here to create an arc. Click right here for the starting point. Now click right here to define the radius of the arc. And we want our arc to start at the same point right here. And we want the arc to end right here. And to create a circle, 
we can select the circle tool by clicking here. And we want our circle, the center, to be here. We want to define the radius by clicking here. And now we've created a circle. And be sure and notice over here in the combo view, down at the bottom, we have a view tab and a data tab. Let's click on the data tab. Now let's select our arc. And now let's change the angle from 90 degrees to 45 degrees and press the tab key. And now our arc has changed to 45 degrees. Likewise, we can click on our circle and we can go to view and we can change the line color by clicking here, here, and here and click OK. There's lots you can do with the View tab and the Data tab for any model or shape that you draw in FreeCAD on the Draft Workbench. Now let's demonstrate the important Upgrade tool shown right here and the Downgrade tool shown right here. First, on the Model tab in the Combo View right here, click on the wire icon to select it. Now click on the Data tab down here to show data relative to the wire. These are the properties that we can manipulate relative to the wire. And now let's come down to the fillet radius right here and change that value to 10. And press Tab. And notice that the wire has changed. We can change the radius back to zero, the fillet radius. Enter zero, press tab. And notice that the shape of the wire has now returned to an L. Now to demonstrate the difference between a wire and the two lines that we drew earlier, let's first click here to select the first line. Notice it turned green right here. And control click here to select the second line. Now we have both lines connected. Now come down and let's try to change the fillet radius to 10 as we did earlier with the wire. Press tab and notice nothing changed. We're going to go back and reset the fillet radius to 0 as it was. And now to fix this, here's what we do. First note that the reason that it didn't change its shape is that FreeCAD Draft Workbench still sees these two lines as two separate objects. To join those into a single object and convert them to a wire, we come over and we use this upgrade tool right here. And we're going to click it four times. But after each click, notice, right now we have two lines here. We'll click one time. And notice that the two lines have changed to a single icon, wire 001. We're going to click it a second time. And notice now it's become wire 002, and our shape is closed. This hypotenuse here has been added. Let's click it a third time. And now notice the icon has been renamed Face, and that's because it has filled in here. You'll see it white on the screen. We're going to click it one more time and now it's back to being called a wire but the thing that's important to notice is that down here on the data tab we now have all of these properties that we can modify. The first thing we want to do is come down and change make face right here make face into false. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to change closed into false and tab out. Notice now we're back to our L shape. Now let's try our fillet radius. Change that to 10 and tab out. And indeed, we have converted our two lines into a wire, also known as a multipoint line, and we were able to 
modify its properties to give it the fillet shape. Now we can come over and change the fillet radius from 10 back to 0 and press tab. And notice that our shape has now returned to the familiar L. It's still labeled wire 001 and we have all the properties of a wire or a multipoint line down here on the data tab. With the wire 001 selected now, let's come over to the downgrade icon right here. Click it once. Notice the data tab has changed. We only have limited parameters available that we can change. We're going to click this downgrade once again. And notice that now we have two edges. You can actually select each one of those individually, that one or that one. Let's select the first one, and we're going to hit Upgrade. Notice it changed back to our original line. Now let's click the second edge and upgrade it. And it too becomes a line once again. So we're back where we started with two separate lines, just like we originally drew. So that should give you some idea of how to use the upgrade and downgrade icons right here. You'll have to experiment with those some, but after a while you'll begin to understand their uses and you'll discover that depending on your status, whether you're a line, a wire, or whatever the case may be, an edge, you'll have different properties that you can change down here on the data tab. Now to add a dimension to our drawing, we want to click on this icon right here. Then we're going to click on our starting point. We'll click here. And the ending point. We'll click here. And come out to where we would like for the dimension to be placed. And click there. Next on the view tab, with the dimension still selected, we want to come down and change the arrow type from dot to arrow. And we're going to change the arrow size by clicking here and changing it from 1 millimeter to 0.5 millimeter. Next, we want to come down and change the font size from 0.2 millimeters to 2 millimeters. And we're going to come here in the flip text field and change that from false to true. And that's how you create a dimension with the FreeCAD draft workbench. Now to add a label to our drawing, click on this icon right here. Then click the item we want to label. We'll click here. And we want to click two more times. There and there. And with the label still selected, come over to the View tab right here. And we want to change the arrow type from dot to arrow. And we want to change the font size from 0.2 millimeters to 4 millimeters. Next, let's click on the Data tab right here. And we want to come to Custom Text right here. And within the square brackets, we want to change this to the text that we would like. In our case, we'll make it 45 degree arc. And we're going to press Tab, and we're going to click on our drawing. And now we have the 45-degree arc labeled. Just a few quick tips remaining here as we wrap up this tutorial. Let's click on the Line tool once again. Create a new line here, and end it right here. Now with the line selected right here, let's come down and get on View. And we want to change the point size so the points are large enough for us to see them. So right here in this data field, point size, change the 2 to 10. And press tab. And notice now that we can see the points that define the beginning and end of this line. Now to add a point, we select the line. We come over to Task, the tab right here. We click on Edit. We come over to the line where we would like to have our point added, hold down the Control and Alt key, click, and say Add Point. We can do it again, Control Alt, click, Add Point. And to delete a point, 
Control A, click, delete point, and click close. So that's how we can make the points larger, and that's how we can add points to the line or any other drawing. Now to move a point, let's go back to the model view right here, click here, and select the line. And let's come down on the data tab and look for this field right here, points. Select that, click these three dots at the end. Let's drag this up so we can see it better. Click on the table button and you'll see that we have our three lines or three points defined, point one, two, and three. To move this point right here from 10.08, let's type five, hit tab, tab, and click OK. And now click the screen. And the point moved. Let's move it once again. Let's go back to line. Come down on the data tab right here. Click on the points field. Click these three dots. Drag this up so we can see it. Click table and change this from 5 to 10. Hit enter and click on the drawing. So that's an easy way to move points on any item that we create with the FreeCAD Draft Workbench. There are many other things that we could cover in this tutorial, but we're going to wrap it up for now. This should give you a good start on learning how to use the FreeCAD Draft Workbench. Be sure and like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.